here tonight and they are all claiming to be the same person. And I will be asking them questions and you get to decide which one is telling the truth, which one is really who he claims to be, and which two are the imposters. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, now let's call out our contestants. Hello, I am contestant A and I am a Christian. I am contestant B. I am a Christian. And I am contestant C and I am a Christian. Remember, audience, only one of these three guys is who he claims to be. Now, for the first question. Last week, your 10-year-old neighbor rode his bike across your lawn and left a tire mark. What did you do, contestant A? Well, I was awful upset. I mean, I worked on that yard all summer long, but I called the kid's dad and we come to an understanding. As payment for the damages, he would help me in the yard this Saturday. Contestant B? First thing I did was I called a little scummy kid's dad, and boy, then I screamed at him, nobody should ever mess with my stuff. I'm going to call the juvenile office next, and the little kid's going to get what's coming to him. And contestant C? Well, I know Josh, and I know he wouldn't do anything like that on purpose. He didn't mean to, so I just let it go. Well, those are all interesting qu answers. Now, question two. When you stopped for gas after work one day, the station attendant accidentally gave you an extra dollar. What did you do with it, eh? Well, I thought about keeping it at first, but I gave it back. B? <laughs> gas as high as it is, those guys are always trying to rip me off or something. I kept that dollar. C? As soon as I realized that I had been given an extra dollar, I took it right back. That's fine. Now tell me, what do you do on Sunday mornings? Oh, that's easy. I go to church. Well, if there's nothing good on TV, I usually read the paper. Sometimes, the wife and I and the kids, we go out to the Shoney's breakfast bar. It's only $4.99. Oh, what a deal. It's so good. Let's see. Well, if the weather's not bad, I'm the first one in Sunday school. Okay, hmm. Well, I see. Here's another good question. You're supposed to leave work at 5 o'clock every day. When do you actually leave? Well, my dad always told me an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. I'll leave right at 5 o'clock. Well, if the boss is looking, I have to stay. But I'll tell you, when he turns his back, I am out of there about 10 minutes early because I have found if I leave early, I can beat that traffic, get home. It's a glorious drive. Well, I have to admit, I have left a couple of times early, but I felt really bummed about it, so I went back and made up the time. I understand. Now, here's a question for all you bowling fans. The league you bowled with gave you a trophy for having the highest average. What did you do with the trophy? Oh, I was proud of it. I put it right on the mantel in a living room. It looks great right next to the one I won last year. <laughs> I got a lot of friends that don't know anything about bowling. <laughs> it's just weird. So I called every one of them up. I bragged and bragged about how great of a bowler I am to tell them that they're doing professional. Right here. Well, I showed it to my wife, and then I put it up on the mail. I mean, trophies are nice, but hey, it's no big deal. Well, we've just got a few questions left, folks. And here is one we've all experienced. You got a flat tire on the way to work a few days ago. How did you feel the rest of the day? Oh, man, I was frustrated. I mean, it was a real inconvenience. But, man, life. I got out and changed the tire and after it I felt better. I mean it didn't bother me. <laughs> I was bummed out. First thing I did was I kicked that car a couple times. Ugh! Hate having flat tires. I changed that thing. Got to work. I complained to everybody all day. It was awful. I hate having flat tires. Well, it, it was an inconvenience but I just, uh, I've had worse things happen in my life. I just changed the tire and went on about my business. Audience, you are really going to have a rough time deciding who the real Christian is. We only have one question left. Contestants, you all say you are Christians. How do you know this? Well, 
when I was about seven years old, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. And I know He lives in my heart. And I try and live my life every day to please Him. I was born in America. That automatically makes me a Christian, doesn't it? And besides, I don't think God would send anybody to hell. I'm not that bad. Well, I've always been a real good person. And I'm, I've always went to church all my life. That's how I know that I'm a Christian. Okay, a hard decision, isn't it? Well, audience, it's time to vote. If you think that contestant A is the real Christian, clap. If you think contestant B is the real Christian, clap for you. Contestant C is the real Christian. Oh. Okay, fellas, you've all done an excellent job. Now, will the real Christian please stand up? 